need a drink. Oh, it's tiny that a lot. Yes. Hello, my name is Claire and this is my wall. allotment in the northeast of England. Did you hear that? Oh, up isn't a mouse. Oh, better be a bird. Anyway, um, my dad's dropped the strimmer off so I can finish weeding the, well, str strimming the paths um, in the allotment. So we've got the, the stone paths at the top that need strimming. What's going on? This cr there's something on my roof. Um, and the, obviously the main path up and down the middle of the allotment and that needs trimming as well on my side. So I'm going to get to that done today. I'm going to try and weed the pota no, the potato field that just keeps coming back. It just keeps on giving. Every year we'll get potatoes in this bit of the plot. We've never planted potatoes there but they just come back every year. So I'm going to try and weed that because I mean they're, they're quite nice. Potatoes are red. I don't know what variety they are but we'll get them every year and um, so yeah i'm going to do the potato field i'll show you in a minute the whole flipping back of the allotments the potato field um so yeah like a full half plot basically so i'm going to try and weed that so it looks a bit better and um, what else and i'm going to obviously finish doing these paths so you'll be able to see where we're going to put the raised beds so we'll have like beds going this way is that vertically horizontally Horiz horizontally Verticals up horizontally, one horizontally across the plot. We'll be having them, um, I don't know, two, four, six, eight. I think there's eight large beds, but I think I'm going to split the ones on this side in half just to make them more manageable. Um, just again, because there's just so much of the plot, the plot's massive. Um, and it's just trying to keep a, like, a hand on all of the wheels, really. I'm sure there's some creepy crawlies around the shed. I keep hearing mice or something. But yeah, so it's just keep a hand on all the weeds. So yeah, that's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to finish strimming. I've already made a start on it. My dad just dropped it off. I'm going to just get it looking lovely, basically. It looks nice. It looks a bit different from what you saw the last time. I can't remember the last time I did a, like a plot tour. If I've got time, I might do a plot tour. It's just so hot. And obviously, I want to get back because I think we're having a barbecue. Um, right, so um, what we're doing, right, I'm going to have a drink of this and then we're going to skedaddle and get some stuff done. Oh, God, look at... <laughs> A strimmer? It's like a beast. It's like Rrr! I'm gonna have to swap drinking hands. Oh, oh it's nice, that's very tangy though. This is the plot. This is, I've cleaned this area up as well. Look at that. Who knew I had pavers there? I didn't. Right, oh hang on, hang on, right, greenhouse. Greenhouse first, right? So this is the greenhouse. If you'd never seen me plot before. And straight out of the shed and into the greenhouse. We'll then go down here. This is the toilet. Very lucky next to the bog. And um, this is ours as well. So we've got at the minute we've got berries at the back. There. We've got some raspberries, gooseberries. We've got a pear tree there at the back. This bed's empty. I don't know what we're putting in this yet. Yet we've got mint and strawberries in here. Um, and there's come in the plot. This is what's changed. Ooh. So you can see where we've put the, the membrane down and I know a lot of people will think well that's just a waste but honestly the weeds are ridiculous and the plan is I think I'm going to just put like some raised beds down here. Don't know yet. So yeah this is what we're up to so far. I've got tomatoes on this bed, onions in here, I've got broccoli in here. I did have broccoli in there but it's been eaten because I didn't cover it and this is the paddy field at the back there. All the potatoes they, we did plant those ones, but none of these ones, so we get all of these every year. And yes, I am complaining because I can't plant anything else there because it doesn't matter how much you weed, you still get potatoes. These are the garlic bulbils I planted. So they're the seeds off the top of your garlic heads. Um, ah, garlic as well, but garlic's down here. I don't know whether I pull it, but I'm sure I didn't pull it this time last year. It's looking a bit yellow. Have you pulled yours yet? Do I leave it a bit longer? I don't know what to do. Yep, so I'm going to just put some petrol in the beast. Finish strimming them um, over there. You can see I've done most of it now anyway. Um, but yeah, there's, um, I mean, we've got quite a bit in at the minute. I've got it at the back there. You can see the Jerusalem artichokes. So that is um, Davy and Lawrence's plot at the back there. 
the immaculate one I don't know why I bother looking it's just always flipping tidy and nice makes us feel really depressed and look at my mess right, so that's theirs beautiful look at I mean look at that look at that sweet corn and this is um so this is Jerusalem artichoke and that is um <laughs> look how tidy theirs is <laughs> This is Davy and um, Lawrence's, and this is the free stuff that I get every year that just kind of works its way over. So we started off with one, and this is after two years, I think, we've ended up with this massive bit of and some over there. But they're lovely. I don't know if you've ever um, seen Jerusalem artichoke, but um, the flower, a bit like a sunflower, they look really nice. And what we've got here, yeah, so the strawberries, fruit down the bottom, mint. We've got all of the flowers out at the minute, so I don't know why I'm going to put those. Most of them will probably go down at my house and um, to my mum's and me, my sister-in-law's. But yeah, it's got found it quite handy just for this, just to put plants out. Seem to be doing really well. So we've got um, dahlias in here. The un I think it's the unwinds mix. We've got um, some oh, called marigolds here, and we've got rudbeckia, which had started from seeds. These were from um, Sutton, so that's like a bed mixture. Um, more sunflowers here. Dahlias, sweet peas, tomatoes. Oh, look. Outdoor tomato. I can't take the credit though, that was one of Jimmy's tomatoes. Um, yeah, more sunflowers and tomatoes. But yeah, but it's, um, it's looking really nice. I'm quite, quite pleased with how it's um, coming along. But I love this stuff. I love the membrane down. If it wasn't here, then I'd be spending all of my weekends and time off just weeding but I can really see where if you can see where the beds are and it's just gonna look so nice when we do the raised beds look lovely but have you seen the cheek of these potatoes in the back here they're actually grown in lines as well cheek buggers lovely straight lines those potatoes look at them I probably couldn't plant them that straight to be fair but yeah I think I want to just pull all this grass out um, and just try and weed in between the potatoes and then we can at least get a crop of potatoes and then I can figure out what I want to do with this area because wow it's gorgeous right I'm going to see if I can get some work done but that's the plot so far looking rather magnificent a bit weedy in places but it's a lot more manageable than it was very nice show you what I've done. So I've done all of this up here. It's looking a lot tidier. The potato field. 
all of the path, I need to brush it all off. Right, I'm going to finish laying the membrane for here and then I think I'm going to call it a day because it's absolutely boiling. Right, I'll get this done. Should we pack them up and put them somewhere? Wait. These ones are the garlic. I don't know whether I need to pull it because they've all gone yellow. I don't want to pull them too soon. I don't know whether I give them another feed. They need more water. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know about them. My blueberry bushes. They look good for the price as well. It's really, really good. Morgan. Come this way, man. Are you just coming to wash? <laughs> but you don't fall back as not breathe. I'm not picking you up. <laughs> They're probably choked with our um, dandelions. Oh, it's not that. It's um, it's like a disease in the leaves. I don't know if it's um, like they like a cold rust. Yeah, I don't know if it's just that it happens. Um, I'm sure it's like the end of the moment we usually pick them. It just means it won't be as big, but obviously if I need to pick them out, I'll take a one up and see. Well, you take one up and see. Well, I haven't got the shovel, you know, I don't know where they are. And that so. brown thing over there from the shed. Have you got a shovel I can do? Yes, if you use your little leggies. I know where they are. Walk into the shed and have a look with your eyes. Will you give us the shovel? But <laughs> I'm helping you with your end. No, you're not. You're just sitting to the table. When I get the shovel, I'll be helping you. <laughs> Are them ready to plant like these? Um, yeah, most of that's ready to go out. Where are you going to plant it? Um, all of these all flowers, they're all going to yours, mine and Belle's garden. Um, there's some onions and I think the rest of them are flowers. There's a couple of tomatoes, but it's all mainly flowers. So which ones is going in mine then, if I've got stuff to do in mine? Well, what do you want? There's dahlias, marigolds, um, Rebecca, sunflowers. But that gadget I bought might be alright. Well, go and have a look. Go and have a look. plant some of them flowers in the garden bit.